Magnates Media has some of the most graphics intense, long form content I've seen on YouTube. And I'm sure he's got a team of graphics guys living in After Effects creating his content. But who needs After Effects when you've got a free program like CapCut? Let's create our version of these shots from his Netflix documentary in CapCut. Let's do it! For his Netflix video, he has this red vibe going on for much of the video, so we need a cool red background. I found this free background online. There's a link in the description below so you can download for free all of the assets that I use in this tutorial. The easiest way to make this background red is to jump over into our library and grab this still red image here. I've saved it as my favorite, so it's at the top, but you just have to scroll down to find it for yourself, but it's just a still red image. I'm just going to drag it down here and make it last a duration of this background and you can see that it's not covering the whole thing so I'm just going to make sure that it's highlighted and click on scale and drag it up. Now to make the background red all we have to do is jump over to video basic blend and change the mode to multiply and bam we've got a red motion background. And we're going to use this very background for the rest of the tutorial. Next, let's make this background appear through text like this. I'm going to make the background fit the entire duration of the timeline by hitting Shift Z. Next, I'm going to nest both of these clips. I'm going to highlight both of them, right click and choose Create Compound Clip. Now this is acting like one single video clip which makes it easier to manipulate. So to create text over that, I'm just going to go over to Text and select Default and drag it down to the timeline. I'm going to make it last a duration of this clip. And I'm going to choose a font that's a little thicker because we want the text to poke through here. So I'm going to choose, let's say, Fira Sans Ultra. You can use any font. And this is one of the kind of difficult things in CapCut. They don't have a way to search the fonts. You just have to find it once and then the most recent fonts you've used will appear up here at the top so you can find them again later. But that's one thing I wish they would fix. So let's go ahead and say, I don't know, how about Master CapCut? We can make it bigger by changing the font size here. And let's put these a little bit closer together by going down to Line and choosing to go to maybe minus five, that looks pretty great. But I want to see the red through these letters and have a black background. To do that, I just drag the background over it and then under Video Basic Blend, I choose Darken and bam, now we have a moving background through these letters. You can see as I go like this, the, the background moving. If I hit play, it looks like this. And the movement's kind of subtle, so one thing we could do is just speed up the background a little bit. To do that, we just click on the background, click on speed, and we just go to maybe double here. Let's position our play at the beginning to watch it. Click on this to go full screen, and we hit play. Speaking of mastering CapCut, I can help you turn into a CapCut wizard in just a few days in my course, which, not coincidentally, is named master cap cuts. So if you're serious about video and you want to crush YouTube, check out my course, link in the description below. One of the other things he does in his video is stylize some of the shots so they're overall red. It's kind of just red and black. To do that, it's really easy in CapCut. Let's just take this video of me on a boat, jump into library, grab the red still image, stretch it out so it covers me completely. We're going to hit Shift Z so it fills the whole bottom of the timeline. You'll notice that this is a little bit too small, so we're just going to make sure it's highlighted. Click on Video Basic and then just scale it up so it covers the whole thing. And then all we need to do to make this image of me red below is go down to Basic, Blend, and Choose, Multiply again, and bam, the whole thing is red, which looks great, but we can tweak it a little bit further by clicking on the video clip of me and selecting adjustment and scrolling down to saturation. If we go all the way left, it desaturates me completely. You can see how that looks by hiding this red track and there I'm black and white. So it gives me this kind of a look, which you know looks, looks pretty cool, maybe you like that. But we can do something a little more extreme by dragging the saturation all the way up and it kind of goes the opposite direction. And now the C is black and it looks pretty neat like this. Just kind of mess with it and do what you want with it, whatever kind of fits your style and the vibe you're going for. The last thing we're gonna do is put a silhouette on that cool background. And we're halfway there. We're just gonna delete this clip of me again. Go ahead and jump back into local, grab the background again. And it's already there because we had the red already set up for this. We're just going to get rid of the end here by clicking on this split icon and deleting it and we see that this is exactly how we want it already. And let's just grab this video clip of me and let's go ahead and make these all the same duration by hitting split here and hitting delete. 
and we just want me on that red background as a silhouette. To do that, I'm just going to click on me, jump over to video, cut out, choose auto cut out, and notice that only human figures can be cut out. Also some new stuff that just came out with the last version. You can also put a stroke around me like that if you want. There's a bunch of different options here. There's the pro ones, and here's, these are free. Solid stroke, keep it simple. Dotted stroke. Looks, looks pretty neat. That's a new feature. You can check it if you want. We don't want that, so we just hit none here. And hey, that works. Me over the background. I shot it in slow motion for you. It's free, linked in the description down below if you want to download it. But I'm not a silhouette. How do I make me a silhouette? Well, the first thing I want to do is desaturate me. It's going to help with the step after that. So it's going to click on adjustment and go down to saturation, take it all the way down. And now I'm going to make sure I'm still highlighted and click over on curves. And under the brightness, this is the Luma curve, I'm going to take this right one and drag it all the way to the bottom, and then bam, now I'm a silhouette. And to make it look more like magnates, I'm going to scale me up by clicking on Video, Basic, scale me up just a little bit, click over here, and he had some text popping on, so we're just going to add some text real quick. I'll just click on Text, and under Trending, we have the default text. And how about we say something like, edit and we will change the font to black by highlighting it and selecting color here dragging this over and let's go ahead and use that same fat font we used before Fira Sans Ultra and making this bigger by dragging this guy up and I need to move it now you'll notice if I try to move it I can't move it yes have to click off of it down here in the timeline and then go back over here now when I click on it I can drag it so that looks a about how I want it to be, maybe a tiny bit smaller, but I want another two layers of this. So I'm going to drag this guy over to make him the full length. So I'm going to hold down the Option key on a Mac or the Alt key on a PC, click on this and drag up and it's created another layer of this, another edit, and I'm just gonna drag it down here. And I'm going to say like, and I want one more layer, so I'm gonna drag it up here and drag this guy down and double click Trev like me because you know we can just adjust these so they're you know kind of equidistant like that and we want them to start at different times so instead of just all popping on at once I can have them pop on one at a time so I'm going to select all of them drag them over a little bit and then I'm just going to space them out I want edit to appear first then like and then Trev and you know you can adjust your own timing and we can clean this up a little bit here select all of them hit command b on a mac control b on a pc hit delete and now let's go ahead and watch his masterpiece edit like trev came on kind of fast i want to space him a little more like that let's see how this looks edit like trev bam you can do this stuff in CapCut, it's kind of insane. And to really get good at CapCut, you got to check out my course at mastercapcut.com or click on this link right here. I can't wait to help you master CapCut so you can become the next Magnates Media.